Good morning, folks. It was another calm day on our star, but if you're watching closely, you're at the edge of your seat. Central coronal holes have set a stream our way, which will impact early this week, and behind it lie massive plasma filaments. The one that crested on the north is hundreds of thousands of miles long. But alas, for now, we are calm. No solar flares, and the sunspots really aren't set to change that. None of these little guys has any potential or magnetic mixing today. Relatively calm solar wind, especially the speed in yellow. The density isn't scary right now in orange, but it is having some twist effect to the phi angle of the solar wind particles. Just some magnetic pulsations thus far. Here's that coronal hole we just discussed. Its speedy stream could last up to three or four days once it arrives. And since she's continued the quake uptick a bit, let's check out her power over at Iswa. Moderate force, enough for what we're seeing, but not too much. You might have noted and been curious why it seems the southern coronal holes are way more powerful than the north, which often look puny by comparison. Well, here's why. Here at the solar polar field strength, we see the north column way, way weaker in terms of absolute magnitude magnetism. This has been the case for a while, and the slight tick up in the north to 13 is another indicator that the pole reversal on the sun ended at the end of 2014. Anyway, the quake uptick was slightly less intense, but still active as a 5.7 at the USGS was actually a lot higher if you take the other readings into account. We also had instances of downgrade at the Southern Atlantic and a second one in the West Pacific. Both hit six more than once. Top link today is to the most detailed ocean floor map ever. Train your eyes to look for land first. That's clearly Australia and the Southwest Pacific. Shifting over, we'll find India. To the west of that, we begin to see Africa. North of that is Europe. Mid-Atlantic Ridge comes next, and the Americas. Then the Pacific, and back to Australia. You can also zoom way, way in and see just how detailed this thing gets. I think I'll end up spending a lot of time looking at fault zones. You can also toggle between a couple different views which will add yet another level to the uber zoom analyses. The 2D and Columbus style maps could be intriguing for you as well, especially the Columbus one, like you're flying overhead in a jet looking out the cockpit. We also have an amazing article on how radiation can enhance superconductivity via process that involves quantized vortices. Well, I'd love to hear Wall Thornhill's take on that one. Enhanced ability to carry high current without energy loss. We are also seeing the summer U.S. temperature predictions from the Weather Channel. That looks fun, eh? No swelter would be nice and would mean fewer tornadoes. And finally, Gary Busey's dad invented a way to treat radiation. Kidding on the doppelganger, but seriously, we now have a way to protect red blood cells from EMR overdose. Let's come now to the weather because the south central U.S. is getting slammed. The flooding and record rains seem like they're never going to come to an end. Haven't seen that concentration of black since the 2011 disaster. Interesting lack of water flow in New England developing as well. Tonight, it's going to bring more of the same for the south central states. The heat and moisture continue dancing up onto land and readying to deliver severe weather again this evening. Please check your local forecast before sunset. Over in Europe, we see high pressure in the Atlantic beginning to clear from the west, while a couple systems and cloud lines push off to the east. Very easy to see that here in the cloud lines. Down under, the convergence is easy to see, but the action is actually above it an atmospheric layer and still driving north, so the cloud line is parallel to the convergence, just set a few hundred miles to the north. I've got your current conditions and some shots of our star to close. Still insanely far behind on those support emails, but progress is being made. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.